the inauguration of Mexico's current president, Felipe Calderón, in 2007, there have been over 7,000 deaths due to the war on drugs. Mexico is the main supplier for cocaine and illegal drugs to the United States and Canada. There are three main organizations that are causing violence in Mexico and threatening our borders. They are the Sinaloa Cartel, Los Zetas, and La Familia Micocana. These cartels are using their well-established overland transportation networks to transport cocaine, marijuana, and heroin to drug markets throughout the country. The cartels are the leading launderers of drug money from the United States. Mexico and Colombia trafficking organizations annually smuggle between $8.3 and $24.9 billion in drug proceeds into Mexico for laundering. Mexican cartels are also increasing their relationship with prison and street gangs in the United States in order to facilitate drug trafficking, as well as wholesale and retail distribution of the drugs. The Mexican cartels reportedly work with multiple gangs and do not take sides in U.S. gang conflicts. In addition to drug trafficking, Mexican cartels have been tied to both human arms trafficking, auto theft, and kidnapping. Mexican drug traffickers smuggle money back into Mexico in cars and trucks due to the effectiveness of the U.S. US efforts at monitoring electronic money transfers. Mexico's Attorney General Eduardo Mora said that the government's anti-cartel initiative will expand beyond counter cartel, police, and military operations to include institutional and operational reforms. Morris stated that the only way Mexico can su successfully defeat the cartel is if it gets more cooperation from the United States in combating arms, trafficking, and money laundering from the United States to Mexico. However, it is more difficult than believed because many of the drug cartels such as Los Zetas, were trained by the U.S. Special Forces at Fort Benning. The reason they trained there was because Mexico wanted their own elite group of individuals trained in prestigious military tactical operations. Unfortunately, this backfired when the trainees realized they could make more money selling drugs using skills such as weapons expertise, interrogation, tapping into phone lines, and torturing techniques. In order to eliminate the threats that these cartels pre present, we must do our best to capture and, if necessary, kill the leader of these groups. The United States provided $1 billion in military assistance to combat drug cartels. As long as we work together with Mexico, chances of accomplishing these goals are high.